Understanding pre-tha, simplifying complex English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's English language learning session. We're thrilled to have you join us. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, pre-tha. It might sound a bit complex at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down together to make it easy to understand. Pre-tha is a compound word, combining pre, a prefix meaning before, and tha, a verb that means to melt or become softer after being frozen. So, pre-tha refers to the time or phase before something starts to thaw or melt. This phrase is often used in contexts related to cooking, science, and weather. Cooking. In cooking, pre-thaw might be used in recipes or cooking instructions. For example, please pre-thaw the chicken before cooking means you should allow the chicken to start defrosting before you begin cooking it. Science. In scientific contexts, pre-thaw could refer to the state of a substance before it undergoes a thawing process. For example, Researchers studying climate change might discuss the pre-thaw condition of permafrost in Arctic regions. Weather. When discussing weather, pre-thaw could describe the period before ice or snow begins to melt. For instance, a weather report might mention pre-thaw conditions to describe a cold spell before a warmer period that will cause snow and ice to melt. Let's see how pre-tha can be used in different sentences. 1. Ensure the meat is in a pre-tha state before marinating. 2. The scientists observe the soil's pre-tha characteristics. 3. Residents should prepare for pre-tha conditions as temperatures are expected to rise next week. These examples help illustrate how pre-tha can be applied in various real-life scenarios. That's all for today's session on the phrase, pre-thaw. We hope this explanation has made the term clearer and easier to use in your conversations and writing. Remember, understanding such phrases enhances your fluency in English. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.